Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Geometries in Comsol Multiphysics and today we will be talking about arrays. For that I have already created a square geometry and I want to make a carbon copy of this square. Say we are trying to make 10 carbon copies of that and you, you can just orient those carbon copies as well. So for that what we do, we have to go to geometry, right click on it. There is an option transforms out of the transforms. You have another option array. I click on array. So the array is taken. Now uh, if you go to this drop down, you see there are two options. Initially, let us focus on linear. I click on linear. Size means how many carbon copies you want to make for the time being. Let us say five. Displacement means how much you want to displace the arrays with respect to the initial object. So let us make it 0 0.25 any arbitrary value you can put other value as well and you have to select the object. So let us select the object because we are trying to make carbon copy of it. Then I click on build all objects. So you can see an array is created. Now instead of horizontal direction if you want to make in the vertical direction Simply you have to make it 0.25 in the vertical and there will be no displacement in x direction. So it will be like this. Okay. Now the point is if I want to make it diagonally what I do. I make displacement in both the direction 0.25. It's a kind of scalar components of the vectors. If uh, x component is moving 0.25 y component is 0.25. So it will be going in the diagonal direction. So I click on it. So you can see it is going diagonally. So you can play around and you can make any kind of displacement. If you just change those values, the angles will be changing, but you will be having five carbon copies of it. If you want to make more, you have to increase the size, say 10 carbon copies like this. Yeah. So this is very easy. Now let us try rectangular so with the drop down i choose rectangular and x size y size it is asking for how many you want to copy in the horizontal direction and how many you want to copy in the vertical direction so it will make a kind of chessboard chessboard kind of structure so let us just put some values and let us see instead of uh, just telling you let us make 8 8 carbon copies in both the directions so it will be an array of 8 by 8 so let us displace a by equal amount 0 0.25 0 0.25 and i click on build object so you can see a carbon copy of 8 by 8 array so you can understand if you change the values the dimensions will be changing yes this is very easy so maybe sometimes you need those options for your particular geometry so it is better to know about all the options we have already covered the option array there are other transform options i just want to show you today before that i just delete the option array because this is important other options are very trivial suppose if you go to transform you have an option of mirror so very simple from the name itself you can understand I want to make a mirror of this say if it is asking for the point of reflection suppose I want to make any value arbitrary you just take so that a point 0.1 point 0.1 I can take for the time being let us not put any y value point 0.1 means this is 0 so it will shift uh, somewhere here this is the reflection point so this is very less because the dimension is 0.2 so let us make it more than 0.2 say 0.25 and click on it okay let us keep the initial object as well so you can see this is the mirror image so th here is the mirror we have placed the mirror at 0.25 what if you have placed it in the y direction so very intuitive it will be going in the vertical direction it's not going because okay uh, now it is 0 
it, it should be 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 then yeah so similarly this is the point of line of reflection and this is a normal vector to the line of reflection so if we just play around it suppose let us make it 0 and 0 so what happens this is not possible because it is superimposing with each other so let us make it 0 and 1 click on build all objects so it is going in the vertical direction because now the line of reflection is here the normal normal vector in the vertical direction so if we make it 1 1 second it will be going in the diagonally so as you know uh, we are in the array option also we have talked about it so that is all about mirror you have options like copy so it's very easy suppose i want to make a copy of it where i want to make a copy that i have to tell suppose 0 0.25 0 0.25 build all objects yeah so it is shifted by 0 0.25 to 0.25 uh, from this reference and it has created a carbon copy of this particular geometry so this is also very easy now let us go to the other option move from the name say name itself you can understand suppose i want to move this particular object somewhere else let us move it in the vertical direction suppose i make 1.4 so it will be coming somewhere here click on build selected uh, let us keep the initial object as well it is not coming here because it is moving by 1.4 it was already at the 0.4 moving 1.4 that means around 0.4 plus 1.4 1.8 that's why it's coming here so this is very easy you can also move by xy and uh, putting xy values so it will be going diagonally yeah so you can play around these options sometimes you need you you really need all those options because if you are working with research projects mainly you focus on the equations geometry is not that much important however if you are trying to make complicated geometries then you might need all those options and that's why it's it's good to know about all the options available in Comsol. so today i stop here and i request you to subscribe to my channel for more updates on Comsol multiphysics we are also creating videos on mathematics and we'll start physical concepts of other physics related uh, topics so uh, i request you to follow our channel uh, and thank you very much